Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This time, we're going to solve for the slope of the line given an equation. There are three major forms of linear equations. The standard form, the point-slope form, and the slope-intercept form. And what we are going to use is only the slope-intercept form. You will encounter certain forms of equations, not written in a standard form, but there is a way to change it to a slope-intercept form of equation. So this is the slope-intercept form of equation. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and x, y is a point on the line. Let's have the first example. We have x plus 3y is equal to 2. Now, this equation is written in a standard form. So, what we are going to do is to just rearrange it into a y is equal to mx plus b or a slope-intercept form. How do we do that? 3y is equal to negative x plus 2. x will be transposed to the other side. That becomes negative x. And then, positive 2. Okay? So, 3y. Now, since we only need y, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Then, y will become negative 1 over 3x plus 2 thirds. This is already in a slope-intercept form. Where is our m? Okay, so this one is our m. Our slope is negative one third. Next example, we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. Okay, so let's change it again to a slope-intercept form. We have negative 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Okay, then we divide both sides by negative 3. We cancel, then y is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 3 is positive 2 over 3, then x, then positive 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So what will be our slope? Our slope is 2 thirds. Ito yon. Let's move to the next example. What if an equation is not written in the standard form? So, what are we going to do? Let's try this one. So, 4y minus 5x is equal to 3x plus 5. As you can see, there are two x's. We need to combine these two x's so that we can change this equation into a slope-intercept form. 4y minus 5x minus 3x is equal to 5. So, we transpose the 3x to the left side of the equation. That becomes negative 3x. So, this becomes 4y minus 8x is equal to 5. Now, it is not yet written in the standard form, but we can change this to a slope-intercept form. So, this will become 4y is equal to 8x plus 5. Then, divided by 4, Cancel 4, y is equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2x, then 5 divided by 4 is 5 over 4. So our slope is 2. Okay, let's have the last example. As you can see, there is a fraction. 4 over 5y minus 2x is equal to 10. So this will become 4 over 5y is equal to 2x plus 10. Now, let us divide this to 4 over 5, this to 4 over 5. This is the problem to most students, fractions. So, what we are going to do is to apply the rule of division. Okay, how do we divide fraction? Okay, so in this case, we only cancel this one. So, this will become y is equal to 2, 2 divided by 4 over 5. 
So, this becomes 2 times the reciprocal of 4 over 5. That becomes 5 over 4. And then, 2 times 5 over 4, we can cancel the 2 and 4. This becomes 2. Therefore, this is 5 over 2. So, this is 5 over 2x. What about the 10 divided by 4 over 5? Same procedure, 10 times the reciprocal of 4 over 5. We cancel 10 and 4, this becomes 5, and this becomes 2. Therefore, this is 25 over 2. So, this is 25 over 2. Now, what will be our slope? Our slope is 5 over 2. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. God bless everyone.